Hello, Where We Are listeners. If you're a longtime fan of this podcast or you're just joining us for the first time today, we want to tell you more about our podcast platform called Spotify for Podcasters. We've been using this platform for over a year and it's been easy to use and new features are added all the time. You can record and edit podcasts from your phone or computer. You don't need anything fancy and you don't need previous podcast experience. When you hit publish, you will distribute your podcast to Spotify and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify if that's your kind of thing. And with Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. But here's the thing. You can earn money, but it's a free platform. There's no catch. If you're curious or want to see what it's all about, download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. This is Michael Ware. You're listening to The Morning 5 on February 14th, 2023. Let's begin with scripture. We're going to read from Jeremiah 29. This is what the Lord Almighty the God of Israel, says to all those I carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon, build houses and settle down, plant gardens and eat what they produce, marry and have sons and daughters, find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage so that they too may have sons and daughters. Increase in number there, do not decrease. Also, Seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Yes, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Do not let the prophets and diviners among you deceive you. Do not listen to the dreams you encourage them to have. They are prophesying lies to you in my name. I have not sent them, declares the Lord. This is what the Lord says. When 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back to the place from which I have carried you into exile. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, good morning. I'm your host, Michael Ware. I'm back. The book is almost done. Actually, just finished uh, the final chapter today. And so we will do edits and kind of all of that, all of that, but I have a full, full manuscript. But gosh, have I missed you all, and I'm glad to be back for the Morning Five. As you know, this podcast is brought to you as, uh, in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network. And we're also proud to support the Morning Five as part of the offerings for, from the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Uh, I do want to say thank you to Melissa. I know you all enjoyed hearing from Melissa. Melissa did a wonderful job holding down the fort here on the morning five. She also uh, watched my children. Uh, and so uh, kudos for that as well. I owe you one. Happy Valentine's Day. All right, let's get to the news. Uh, first, uh, lawmakers continue to call for more information on the flying objects that have been shot down over the last 10 days. Uh, you know, uh, I've been focused on uh, my book and apparently there is a uh, alien invade. Oh, no. At a press conference yesterday, Press Secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre said that the UFOs were not aliens. She said, uh, and I quote, I know there have been questions and concerns about this, but there is no, again, no indication of aliens or extraterrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. Uh, of course, that is what she would say if, <laughs> if, if she were trying to pull one over on us. No, no, no. Uh, she continued to say, I wanted to make sure that the American people knew that. All of you knew that. 
And it was important for us to say that from here, because we've been hearing a lot about it, meaning from the, from the, from the desk in uh, the Brady press briefing room, uh, from the podium at, at the Brady press briefing room. Uh, also yesterday, China's foreign ministry said that the U.S. has sent high-altitude balloons into its airspace more than 10 times since the start of 2022. Uh, it's the first accusation from China of this kind uh, toward the U.S., all right, second, in Israel, 100,000 protesters from across the country protested outside of parliament in Jerusalem in one of the biggest ever demonstrations in the city. Uh, protesters gathered to oppose a judicial overhaul proposed by Israel's uh, new government that's uh, dividing Israelis. The changes envisioned by uh, Netanyahu's coalition government would reduce the Supreme Court's ability to revoke laws passed in parliament and give the government greater influence over uh, who gets to be a judge. Finally, the CDC released a new study, the Youth Risk Behavior Study, uh, focused on teens in the U.S. They surveyed 17,000 teens at high schools in the fall of 2021. Nearly three in five teenage girls felt persistent sadness in 2021, double the rate of boys, and one in three girls seriously considered attempting suicide. The rates of sadness are the highest reported in 10 years following the effects of isolation and stress of the pandemic. The survey also shows that teens are using illicit drugs less, there's less bullying at school, and teens are having less sex with fewer sexual partners than in previous studies, though uh, uh, teen girls are also reporting uh, higher levels of uh, sexual coercion uh, than in previous years. Uh, the first time that there's been a rise in that number in over a decade. All right, that's it for today. Let's close with Dallas Willard's version uh, of the Lord's Prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge and you have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. All right, friends, have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.